<laughs> Hi everyone. Yes, it is me uh, on a winter 30 degree day out on my scooter. Fuck yeah, man. Just got to dress for the occasion. I'm definitely, definitely dressed warm enough for it. Uh, and it gets me out into the hood and I get to breathe some fresh air. Oh, how nice. And uh, hey, practically, this is very good for your core. You know, like I was so happy to be able to be on it again because look what you have to do to be able to ride this thing, right? Yeah. Oh man. I uh, um, I just had to share this with you because I'm just I'm just pumped. Uh, I'm coming into uh, I got a heavy week coming up. Uh, Monday is a uh, is a CT scan to make sure that the liver surgery went okay and everything's uh, healing okay and clean. Tuesday is chemo. Wednesday is the doctor's appointment to review the CT scan. I mean, kind of to me, it's a regular week because as stressful as all that sounds, this is what we do. We get a week off and then it's a week full of appointments and uh, rinse and repeat. So uh, looking for ways to kind of wash away, not wash away, because I don't think any of us should wash away uh, what has happened in the last week, uh, but I definitely needed a break from it. Uh, so the um, group uh, Thankful for Chicago is running, uh, or they're participating in a citywide um, activity where each neighborhood had an organization that was running a garbage drive. Uh, come out and let's help just clean up neighborhoods. So let's just, you know, roll up your sleeves and do something. And I really felt the need to do something, to feel that I was impacting something this week. Um, and so, you know, beautiful sunny day. Uh, it gives me the opportunity to jump on my scooter, run over to Garfield Park, uh, spent two hours with some beautiful people picking up garbage, uh, masked, fully uh, separate, outdoors, safe, uh, no worries there. Um, and, and, it, and it felt really good. I mean, I should you not. Like, it, it was in Garfield Park, and, and uh, uh, you know, I, I cleaned this one area. It was one square foot. I, one square foot and I picked up 36 drug bags, 36 baggies. <sighs> I mean, how sad, right? Like this is where families and children go. Uh, and there's some there. And so I like, it was super cool because I cleaned and then families and children went by and it just made me smile that, yeah, that's the way it should be. Children should not be walking through piles of drug bags to go to the park, <laughs> just not right. And uh, we should do something about it. So I did, yay. Made me feel awesome. Afterwards, uh, this this group, so cool. They came together and created a very distant uh, uh, yoga uh, gratitude circle where we all stretched and, and, and gave some shout outs to what we were grateful for. And, and that was just the start of the day. And then and everyone was going off to work or do their thing. And, and ah, it was beautiful. That really gave me a reset and some, and some energy and, and some hope for the future. There's good people doing good things. Uh, like I always, I'm like I'm, I'm solution oriented, right? Like, and, and I feel like the world is so full of problems right now that I just, I want some solutions. And, and as minor as this sounds, this to me was just impacting something. It was doing something, do something, right? We all talk about the things that are broken in this world. And I keep hearing everyone talk about it. And I wanna ask, what are you doing? You know, what are you doing to impact that? If we all did something, live a life of kindness, do something for a better tomorrow. I mean, fuck, man. I have stage four cancer. I don't have that many tomorrows. I'm still working for a better tomorrow for you. <laughs> what are you doing? What are we all doing? Let's do it together. <laughs> all right. Well, I'll talk to you guys later this week because uh, I'm going to go take a hot shower. <laughs> I, I, just one more thing. I, I, I was just sitting here um, getting ready to put my scooter away and I started thinking about uh, after this really great experience on a beautiful sunny day uh, with others, at least feeling like I did something, right? And, and collecting garbage and such. And... Uh, then afterwards, as I said, it was really cool. They invited everyone to come together into a um, into a, a yoga stretching circle, uh, and uh, and then uh, shout something out. Uh, take turns uh, saying what something that you're proud of yourself for, 
um, and something you're grateful for. And the thing that I got thinking about as I was putting my scooter away is, is uh, um, it's just, it was really cool. I felt so great afterwards. It was a beautiful way to spend the morning. But I remembered when that invitation came, I, I struggled with myself. Uh, um, there was, you know, some chatter started in my brain, like, oh, yoga circle, oh, speak, you know, proud of yourself, oh, we have to pat each other on the back, and all oh, these, these, the sh I don't know, you know? And uh, I started something a couple of years ago uh, that when things like this happen in my brain, I, I try to recognize it, I try to catch it, and, and I ask myself, like, who's talking right now? Who, who's talking? Because that's not what I believe or think or feel. And I wouldn't say that to someone else. So, so why am I saying that to myself, right? Like, who's talking? And so this morning I had this, you know, I'm thinking, I'm like, why, are, why am I ridiculing uh, this wonderful thing where everyone uh, does this deed, comes together, they want to they wanna stretch and have some salutations and, and feel good about the world and ourselves and... And, and ground ourselves and get ready for the day. Why was that such a hard, why did I have to fight myself to get there? Like, seriously? Uh, what the, what the, oh. how, is, how am I still having these conversations with myself? <laughs> Anyways, I'm just curious. Do, does, does, do you get that? Are you having these same conversations in your head, right? We're really, oh man, it's so, so much work. So much unwrapping. Anyways, have a good day, okay? I'll talk to you guys later. Hey, and don't forget, if you're looking for something to contribute to, I'm gonna drop the link to Thankful for Chicago below. Throw five bucks at them. Give them some garbage bags so they can continue doing cool shit and feel good about themselves if, if that's what you need to tell yourself. Or just throw them a couple of bucks as a, as a thank you so they can get a couple of hot coffee after uh, staying out in the cold, cleaning up the hoods.